Hey guys, so we're ready to start brushing Molly out. Um, I'm also going to trim out the uh, pads of her feet and grind her nails down a little bit shorter. So um, I'll show you the tools that I use for a dog with a coat like Molly's. Um, I actually use three different brushes for this type of coat. I start with a slicker brush, um, which already has some of her hair in it. And that loosens the coat up and pulls out some of the hair. And then I'm going to go to a rake to further pull that dead undercoat out, uh, reduce shedding a little bit, and then I'm going to finish with the Furminator, which is an excellent tool if you have a heavily shedding dog, if you have a short-coated dog that has this type of coat, this is really nice. It really does pull out a ton of fur and, um, and really, really knocks as much of that fur off as possible so that they're not shedding on you quite as much. But I'm going to start with the slicker brush, and I'm going to kind of go over her entire body with the slicker brush and get what I can with that. Um, the slicker brush I can also use on the areas where she has shorter fur, like her legs um, and the top of her head. And you want to be gentle with it. You don't want to like dig in and put a lot of pressure because these pins um, are metal and they're pretty thin little pins. So I don't want to scratch the dog, but I do want to get in there and make sure that I'm pulling out what I can. Mm -hmm. Good. Especially in the areas of her coat stand. Good, good stand. Good girl, stay. Especially in the areas of her coat where her, where her fur is really dense, like um, up here, kind of in her ruff, on her chest. Um, she's got pretty thick fur, pretty dense fur on the back of her legs, kind of I call them their pants, so she has pretty thick pants. Stand. Good. Stay. Uh-uh. Stand. Good girl. Stay. Good. Stay. Good girl. Oops. Stand. Good. Stay. Good girl. And again, this is a time of the groom where I'm able to see as I'm going over the dog, if there's any little areas of concern. Stop. Stop. Good. Good girl. So after I've done her with the slicker brush, I'm going to move to that rake. And then go over her again. Stand. Good stand. Good girl. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. And the rake is going to bust up any of those dense areas of coat and pull all the fur out. So um, you can kind of see she's got kind of a saggy, baggy neck. Um, and so I'm going to pull the skin kind of tight. I'm going to I'm going to roll the skin up as I brush, so that I'm not brushing down into a fold on her neck and uh, potentially hurting her. There you go. Knock all that loose fur off. Stab there, probably from roughhousing with her sister. So um, I'm going to finish with the Furminator. Um, this is actually a blade on this on this brush, um, and what it does is pulls out undercoat that the slicker brush and the rake can't. It is sharp, so when you're brushing your dog with a Furminator at home, uh, and I highly suggest that if you have a short coated dog like a Lab, like a Pitbull. Um, like a like a Rottweiler, um, dogs with with fur like this that you get a furminator because it really does help reduce shedding around the house and it also I mean any kind of brushing is going to um, stimulate good blood flow to the dog. It is going to stimulate good oil production in their coats so that their coats are healthy and shiny and not dry and brittle. Uh, but the furminator in particular is really great for coats like this because it does pull out a lot of hair that would um, otherwise wind up uh, on your couch or 
on your rug. So just like with the rake, I'm going to roll skin up anywhere that there is loose skin. I'm going to brush down with the grain of the hair. And when I get to bony areas of the dog, like their hock or their ankles, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm brushing at an angle. So I'm not coming straight down into the hock stand. I think I can really see. Um, so for instance, if I'm doing her elbow, I'm going to come down like this, not straight down into the bone of the elbow because I can, um, again, I can cut the dog because this is a blade. So I don't want to hit any bony outcroppings and potentially cut the dog. Also, as with the slicker brush, I'm not going really hard with it. It's more um, firm strokes, but I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm not trying to dig into the dog with it. I'm just trying to grab all this fur. So let me finish brushing her because this is going to take a while. Um, again, she's in her kind of winter shed uh, season where she's going from her summer coat to her winter coat. So there's a lot of fur to come off and this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video when it's time to shave out her pads and grind her nails. We'll pick back up again so you can see what that looks like.